What's up, Quack Captain fans? It's HangarDrone.com, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video. Uh, I'm balancing my props. Uh, this is a, a, a 10 inch prop. It's for my F450 flame wheel knockoff. Uh, this is a uh, carbon nylon um, prop. They are pretty cheap. I, I got them for about like six dollars, and um, you know the slightest wreck, and these things do bust. But it also, you know. Uh, is the weight of the quadcopter that I'm using. Uh, it's a uh, do-it-yourself kit. It's fairly heavy. Um, so, you know, anytime it, you know, lands on one of these, it just snaps them in half. But uh, I'm going to try uh, balancing one of these. I've never done it before, so we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm assuming this is probably, you know, not the best prop balancer uh, just because of the size, but uh, it should get the job done. Um, you know, it doesn't have much room this way or this way to go. Um, but basically how it works is that you screw these three bars in to each other. It comes with the screws here. And then it has a, a magnet in here. And uh, it's magnetized on both sides. So then that way you can just put it in there. Spin the prop and uh, see if it balances out. So we'll put this in through here. We'll put the other end on try to center it out. I don't think you need to get this thing snug because that might prevent it from the prop from moving back and forth. But uh, we want to get it on there so it's not too loose and not too tight. So that way it'll, it'll have its free range of motion. And then we just got scotch tape there. So we're going to put it on here evenly. I'm going to turn it this way just so uh, this is the side I'll be putting the tape on. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it sit here and see if it moves one direction or another. Just kind of reset it here. So it looks fairly balanced. If I hit that, it kind of moves back and forth. And there's a little bit of wiggle room in here, so it's not that this is... You know holding it in place by no means so let's let it just kind of balance out a little bit so it does look like it's going a little bit to the right hand side here so we might need to put a little bit of tape here on the left um, from a dead start it just slightly tilts down to the right so I'm gonna be putting the scotch tape on it's not a very big piece just enough to uh, go on the top here, get it nice and smooth, and let's see if this thing will balance out correctly. Let's just hit it and see how it falls. So it looks fairly level. Um, this bar in the middle, that's fairly level too. So um, we'll just get it one more piece on there, see if we can get it straight across to balance and uh, it looks like it might have been too much duck or uh, scotch tape because as you can see now it's it's going over here to the left so I'm gonna pull one layer off go back to what we originally had on there or possibly put half the amount on there well, that looks pretty level right there. So, um, you know, not the most expensive prop balancer. Like I said, I got it for about uh, like five to six dollars. Uh, it is level in here, so you know, it, you can do this probably with the screwdriver on the edge of a table uh, that's smooth in the inside and straight across, as long as you can get it level. Um, but just make sure that you know it's not going one way or the other. And then if you do, just put a little bit of scotch tape on it, uh, like I did on this side, and now we have a balanced prop. So if this video helped you out in any way, definitely leave a uh, like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where to get uh, this prop balancer here. Very inexpensive, somewhat effective. Uh, I haven't tried any of the other ones, so I can't really give an opinion on that. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned for more upcoming videos for flight reviews, unboxings, uh, as well as different flight videos.